What's our YouTube day here from Four Games? And we're here with Joe again. And Joe is bringing us a weird combination, but they've also been doing quite well in the OCG, and that is Altergeist with Paleozoics. Now, that's a little bit of a crazy mix, but something very, very interesting to see kind of how it goes. So, Joe, take it away. Um, so, I actually can't take credit for this build. I actually found this build off the channel um, Low Tier Yu Gi Oh! Because that's, that's the way it is. So, um, Shout out to you for showing this profile. Um, it's actually been doing really well, and it's a nice way for me to keep the Paleo deck going. Um, no, the Alter Guy deck um, going, as well as use all my Paleo stuff. Um, but I have been testing it out, and the boards that you can make are a lot more lock focused and very stun variant, which is the way that Alter Guys like to play. So, with the monsters, it's very small and very standard. Um, you're literally playing three of every Alter Geist. So the Alter Geist Melisi, um no, Alter Geist Marionette, Marionette um, she sets your Alter Geist car, um, <coughs> trap cards from your deck. So being able to set your protocol um, turn one is just really strong. Um, but she can also tribute an Alter Geist, send an Alter Geist card you can try and spot to someone in the graveyard. So she can get your Alter Geist Musiques, <laughs> as we all like to call it. Um, now, also, guys, um, Mila Seek, um, she's the one who can attack you, um, attack the opponent directly, and she does do damage. She can send one of their monsters. Um, well, also, if she leaves the field, she can search you a Alter Geist um, monster, so she's a nice little searcher. Alter Geist Siliquitus, um, sh uh, she can bounce alter, um, bounce cards your opponent controls by bouncing an Alter Geist card you control. So she's a very stun variant, being able to remove the normal summon that your opponent had to then use, and so which can really stop their plays. And free Alter Geist Konkiri, um, she's the one who can negate um, attacks if you control an Alter Geist card, being able to just special summon herself. Target the opponent's monster and its effects are negated. Um, it's also really strong as well. Um, you can easily reuse her over and over again, especially with Siliquitus. Um, and it's just an Alter Geist card as well, so if you did break and you only add her and a trap, you set something like Protocol, activate Protocol, and they're trying to attack you. Cool, special Kinkiri because you do control an Alter Geist card. And to run up the monsters, I do play one Spellbook, Magician of Prophecy. Um, I just like the one because I don't want to use my normal summon on it too much, so I don't want to brick with it. So that's just the way I like to play that engine. So you can tell by the spells when I go to spells and traps now, we do play the spell book engine. So I play two secrets and two knowledge. This is the ratio I've used personally and works with me. Um, I usually search, see one of these two first before I see this, but even then in a deck like this, Seeing knowledge first is not bad. You can then just use your use it on your like your me seeks if you have it, or any one of your alter guys because they're all spell casters and net to you a draw too. So it's a really strong engine. If you can get it, I suggest get it. To round up the spells though, I do play one one for one and one dark hole. This can be Regeki. Um, completely up to you, but I like the one for one in this deck. Um, the original profile didn't have it. But I like to be able to have the additional way of getting to my Meeseeks. <laughs> I'm just going to keep calling it for the step profile. So, um, but I like the one for one because it's just something that works for me. For traps, though, we do play the free protocol and one camouflage and one um, personal spoofing. Um, the protocol is pretty much the reason why you want to play um, Alter Geist, it, unless you also like the monsters like I do. Um, it's being able, the trap that says no to anything your opponent wants to do to your Alter Geist um, is just too, too strong. And being able to negate stuff as well, I think that's what it does from memory. Yep, negate stuff. Um, personal spoofing is a way to just shuffle your Alter Geist and swap them out for a new one. Um, that's really strong. The only problem is there's not an Altergeist card by name. Camouflage is something I just like to taking in now just to protect my link if I do manage to go into it. Um, but it does have a downside that you, it doesn't prevent them from attacking you direct, um, directly. So that's the only downside to it. But other than that, it is a nice card. It does have a nice graveyard effect with like um, Return of Dragon Lords. Um, if your Altergeist would be destroyed, you can banish it instead. 
Then for the rest, we have a lot of paleos. I gone with three dynamisters. This is the one that can you let you discard and banish a card. So it's pretty much to me the strongest paleo. Um, you got to play three of this one. Three paleo Olenoidus. This is the back row removal, which is why I, if you saw with the spell, I didn't play any like MST Twin Twisters because I have this instead. Next we have two Paleo Marilina. Um This can foolish burial one of your Paleos, so it's a nice way to get to more Paleo swarms onto the board. Next we have two Paleo Pika. This is the one that lets you discard a Paleo and draw two. So it's a bit more draw power for the deck that Paleo, um, older guys didn't have. So now you have four consistency cards in the deck. And to run out the Paleos, we play two Paleo Candina. Um, this is the Book of Moo one, which can be very helpful if you can tell your opponent's going for a link play. Setting them is just really, really strong. Um, next, I play two Mirror Force and a proxy two anti spell fragrance. Now, the reason I've gone for this is because, as you can see, we only have six spells and they're not all needed. So, if we have to stun our own spells, so be it. Being able to stun your opponent's spells in a very spell heavy format is just too, too strong. So this is anti-spell fragrance. Um, and also being able to trigger your old um, your paleos when you're able to flip anti-spell paleo summon, really strong. Same with mirror force, if they try to attack you, flip mirror force, chain, paleo, summon, blow up the board. Um, but the mirror force can be any mirror force you want. I've just gone for the standard one for now, but I'm even thinking of swapping out for the um, Blazing Mirror Force just to get that additional damage into the opponent. For the extra deck, is very. Mine's not even complete fi full 15. This is just the ones that I would be say that you have to play or you should be playing, and the rest is completely up to you. So I've got two Pine Banshees, she is your boss monster, you can drop her down to one if you want though because um, you, you rarely go into her as much but she is just something I like to have in here too. Two Miss Starboy because we are playing the Paleozoics um, but the funny thing is with Miss Starboy is that he will buff up your Meeseeks because your Meeseeks is a water so she will be attacking your opponent for a thousand or at most 15 if you play two Miss Star Boys. So being able to just poke for 15 directly and send a card is just ridiculous. Um, but two Miss Star Boys because of your Paleos. Two Paleo Anamolex um, is requiring two, three level twos, but you can use your Spellbook Monster. Um, but I've literally just gone for two and two. Um, just because 2 is a very nice consistent ratio for me, I rarely go into more than 2, um, but you should just be, this something. And I would play 2 Totally Awesomes if I had a second Totally Awesome, but I've only got 1, but 1 is a great, still a nice addition to the deck for um, Alter guys, just to have that extra negation for you. Um, while you're poking them with me seeks or setting your traps and doing all your bouncing. And the rest of the extra deck is literally just rank twos. Um, I wouldn't suggest rank fours because you're not going to be going into the rank fours very much. Um, you can also just chuck in a whole bunch of links in this. Um, is something that you can do as well. It's completely up to you, but this is a very nice way to play the... Um, uh, alter guys in my in my testing, um, the paleos do give it a nice additional um, stun negation as well as board swarming, um, power buffing through the um, star boy for your meeseeks, and that's the deck. <laughs> um, again, props to um, and shout outs to low. Um, Low tier gaming, I think that's the channel name, um, for giving me this idea um, to then show it, spread it to you. Spread it to you. Spread it to you, show it to you, and all that. However, spread you know, the love of paleo. Spread the love of paleo and older guys. Um, so, yeah, it's very interesting there. Older guys themselves in general have done quite, like, have kind of had a resurgence in the OCG and have mm. done a couple of nice top at uh, some of their events. Um, I'm not saying it with the exact same here, but 
at the moment, while all the Autoguys cars are relatively cheap, you might as well pick them up if you do fancy playing something a little bit different and a little bit um, unique in a sense, so they are quite fun. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this gives you a couple of ideas to kind of build on your own, or of course, copy the deck list. Um, Copy the deck list, give it a go, try it out yourself and see how it does. Um, but thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time guys, as always, happy, happy going. going! If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available. We've got more deck profiles, pack openings and of course duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all, that subscribe button, right in the bottom left hand corner.